1,400 years ago, the Quran described an invisible barrier between two seas that prevents them from mixing. Modern oceanographers called it impossible until they discovered halaclines in the 1960s. What you're about to see will challenge everything you thought you knew about our oceans. The Quran declares, he has set free the two seas, meeting together. There is a barrier between them, they do not transgress. For 13 centuries, this seemed like poetry. Two massive bodies of water, side by side, yet mysteriously refusing to mix. When European explorers first witnessed this phenomenon at the Strait of Gibraltar, they dismissed it as an optical illusion. The Atlantic and Mediterranean appeared to maintain their distinct properties, despite meeting. Scientists insisted this was impossible. Water must eventually mix, according to basic physics. Then, in the 1960s, advanced oceanographic equipment revealed the stunning truth. Invisible barriers, called halaclines and thermoclines, actually do separate different water masses. Differences in temperature, salinity, and density create natural partitions that can persist for thousands of miles. But here's what will leave you speechless. The Quran didn't just mention a barrier, it used the exact Arabic word bazark, meaning an unseen partition, that separates while allowing controlled interaction. Modern science confirms this precise description, the barriers permit slow, controlled mixing, while maintaining separation. So here's the question, that should haunt every rational mind. How did a man, in 7th century Arabia, with no submarines, no sonar, no oceanographic instruments, describe a phenomenon that took modern science 1,300 years to discover and understand. Perhaps, some knowledge transcends human discovery. Perhaps, it flows from a source beyond our instruments and equations.